Okay, hi again. Maybe if I have the time, I might do a live stream about the England game. Assuming that, assuming that the game is over by the time I do it, or it's during. But anyway, this game will take place five o'clock in twenty-four hours. It's seventeen hundred hours. Seventeen. English national team is 107, reverse full reduction, which is 17. I mean, Gareth, Gareth Southgate, 36 wins, 11 draws, 57 games. Interesting here. This game takes place 66 days before his next birthday, and his birthday has a numerology of 33. Now, why is that important? Because... Uh, England vs Germany, in reverse, Francis Bacon is 33. And uh, Gaussaki's birthday has a numerology of 33. Gaussaki equals 77, in reverse, full reduction. Theatre equals 77, Zionist equals 77. Why, why do I mention this? It's because... I mean... I mean, my... My conclusion about how these professional sports are rigged by the numbers is that the coaches, including him, have to be on it, in on it, which is no, which is, which is, a, which I mean, no, no doubt they are. Are all the footballers in on it? No, but some are, but maybe not all of them. Some of the players are in on. Of course, they have to be, but because, because their their lives have been born and bred by the numbers. That's why they are professional footballers because and uh, this game equals 56 like you know coronavirus which is 56 mind control 56 society g is 56 and today's game has a numerology of 56 okay that's uh, I, I want to show something here I mean this game takes place 82 days from Prince Philip's death on the 9th of uh, April, 4994. And English national team also equals 82. I mean, this is England's uh, Euro record. I mean, and what the total to the Euro matches, they're sitting on 86 wins. If they win this match today, they'll be, they'll be the 87th win. If they lose, they, they lose this is total I'm talking about, if they lose it will be the 22nd loss 22nd, why is 22nd important? because today's numerology has two, two, 22 so if England will lose it will be the 22nd loss I mean here if we just focus on your final matches only, not the total. But if they win, they get, they get, they'll be on their 14th win. 14. Mm. If I can't find anything, I'll just get... I'll just... Uh, And also, this game will be Gal Southgate's 58th, um, 58th uh, match as England manager. And today's game, and today also has a new order 58. So, 50, so, you know, again, I mean, I mean, I suspect there's a double script going on where, on the one hand, it seems coded that England might win this match. I don't know what I don't know if, if it will happen in 90 minutes or extra time or penalty shootout. But to me, I mean, it's coded that this match will happen today because he's on his 50th, 50th, 50th match as England managed today. And if he wins, he'll. 36 wins, he'll get. He'll go to 37 wins. I mean, yeah, 
England versus Germany equals 73. And if, if Gareth Southgate's England team win by the numbers, of course, it'll be his 37th win, which is a reflection of England versus Germany, which is 73. Interesting here, England versus Germany equals 116, like um, we're at the Roman Catholic Church, which is 116. Just, okay, don't want to keep talking about him. Okay, the manager, I've got a picture of him, so the German manager, he's on 124 wins and 33 losses. We mentioned 33 before, it's stamped on Gaussaga's birthday. So if, he, if Germany wins, he would remain with 33 defeats and 125 wins. And if he wins, his draw, I mean, if, I mean, if they draw, they'll be on, for, for, he'll, be, he'll be on 41 draws for, for Germany. Checking the time here. I mean, this is showing Germany's total uh, wins in in tournaments in in, in, yeah, in, in the Euros. They want they want seventy four wins, twenty draws, ten defeats. I mean, seventy four wins. I mean, it's anyone. I mean, it just depends on how how this how it goes today. And this chart is also important. This is showing that. This is showing. Teams that have not won the Euros. Now, since we since these teams are not in the Euros now. Belgium and England are the only two teams that have not won, and someone mentioned to me that ten different teams, prior to Belgium and England, have won the Euros. And Belgium have never won it, so it would be interesting if they if they end up winning it for the first time. One of them. I mean, England's record. I mean, this will be the hundred forty third game they play. And what in, what's interesting, since this, this is going to be England's the hundred. England's 143rd Euro game. England, English national team equals 314. 314 is a reflection of 143, which is today, which is the 143 game today. And it shows here also, because these stats are also important, it helps you decode what's going to, what might happen or might not happen. Every time there's a draw, the last four finals have went to penalty shootouts and they've lost. So will they? So if they draw and it goes to penalty shootout, will it be will it be England's fifth defeat, fifth penalty shootout defeat? The draw will be thirty six draws. But here, thirty five. Why is 35 important? Because England are sitting on 35 draws in total Euro matches. So maybe they won't draw, but it depends on how the script goes. And Germany, they won. They won 40 draws in total. They are on twenty draws, thirty-four wins, twenty draws. That's the Euros I'm on. I'm looking at here. I mean, that's. I mean, they won seven, eight games. Seven out of eight games have won. So 
so they might be heading for their ninth win. Sorry, eight, eight, eight of eight, eight out of nine. I mean, will they? Is it gonna? They're gonna head for the twenty eleventh. Eleventh draw, ten defeat. Um, we just have to wait and see what happens. I mean, basically, basically, I start work in half an hour's time, but I don't think I'm going to go on too long. So later, if later, maybe later on during break, if the match is still going on, might do a, a might. I do want to stress, might do a live stream. I mean, players to look out for, well, there's Carrie Kane, Jack Graylish from the England team, see if they might pull a goal or two. Just want to stress that all professional sports are, are by the numbers. They are, they're, they are, they were set up by the Scottish Rite Freemasonry. I mean, you can, you can find any article as to how football was set up in the first place. They all set up in a Freemasonic bar of sorts so it's hard to, to anyone ignore that there's a masonic service to this i mean england i mean what's interesting here england beat germany i just wrote this you know just for fun 78 now 78 78 I'm trying to remember did I put some did I find a number on this I mean Tuesday looks 58 hmm so, I thought I f mm. Hmm, just can't seem to find it, but oh, yeah. So if they do win, and this this stat here would go from eighty six to eighty seven, and England beat Germany equals seventy eight, which will be a reflection of eighty seven. So, I mean, based on what I've seen, I mean, it's coded it's coded that he's going to win. Sorry, England's going to win. We might see we might see an upset, but they'll but but these people do when they break the sports. They always flip the script. They always make it seem like that. Uh, they always make it seem like that this team is going to win, and then they'll they'll flip the script. And uh, I mean, they might they might make it look like England's are winning, and then Germany sort of suddenly equalise, and then then suddenly, Germ I mean. Don't be surprised. I'm just like just like every other your your final match we've seen so far. The last ten minutes, we're going to see a plot twist. It either involves Germany losing one 0 and then and then the last ten minutes they come back and they win it, or it goes to extra time, or it's vice versa. England are losing one 0 then they equalise, then it goes to extra time, and it's penalty shootout. Then England lose the penalty shootout, or they're going to flip the script somehow. Well, we shall see what happens later. See you later.